The original concept of the Stovall military aircraft was brought about owing to the concerns of airfield denial during the Cold War. How do we make something this big hover? And incorporated an, a number of novel concepts like a vector thrust engine, which meant the aircraft could be both light and nimble. Um, how do we then take something that can hover and make it be a fast jet? BAC Lightning was the first and possibly the last all-British Mach 2 fighter. Every person I know who flew the Lightning really enjoyed it. A single-seat rocket ship that was renowned for getting airborne and halfway down the runway departing in the vertical. The operational roles of the Harrier for the UK involved air defence, reconnaissance, battlefield air interdiction and close air support. And matched ability to provide rapid close air support to troops on the ground. The BAEC Lightning successfully defended the skies of the United Kingdom and Germany for almost 30 years. So get airborne, go high, go fast, find the bad airplane and intercept it. The Harrier was a marvel of British engineering and ingenuity. Flexibility not only in basing but also across the whole breadth of warfare. The flexibility the Harrier offers, the performance that the BAEC Lightning offered are both combined in a single airframe with the Lightning II. The Stovall capability is incredibly relevant. In today's uncertain world, where you just don't know where the next operation is going to be or what it's going to look like, then you need to be able to have a platform that can operate in all environments. As soon as you step into F-35, you, you know this is a, a special aeroplane. The Lightning II is a real leap in capability and technology for the UK. Once you start to understand the capability of JSF, then that's when the Pandora's box of excitement really opens. It flies great. Awesome. Unrivaled. Beautifully. Wonderfully. It's flexible in terms of basing options. We can base it on the, the new carriers. Then step forward off the carrier into a, a, an austere type base. And we can base it from normal airfields. The F-35 mission systems allow you to do everything from your own cockpit. I don't have to rely on anybody else. The aircraft does the thinking for you and just presents you with a a uh, single picture on the, the sheet of glass in front of you, so it's very easy to assimilate that information. And that allows you to be purely expeditionary. It's easy to fly, it's easy to operate, and it's easy to employ the weapons and systems that it's carried. Day one capability, uh, especially through stealth and the fifth gen pace, and also interoperability and the ability to uh, just to plug in with our key allies the UK has never had the ability to carry out day one operations alongside its coalition partners before, and that's very important to the nation. Having that flexible capability at the fifth gen end is incredibly important for the UK. If you had a shopping list of requirements for an aircraft, uh, the jet has everything that you would have on that list. It's a stealthy aircraft, it's a high performance aircraft, and it's fifth generation. Dramatically significant for an uncertain future.